What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we wanted to go over how to paper trade for free, a full tutorial going over the Weeble paper trading platform, which allows you to trade with fake money and learn how to trade so you can hone in a process before you start having to risk your own money. Now I wanted to make this video, I wanted to make it fairly short, fairly simple. So I know a lot of people have questions with this and I know a lot of people want to get started with trying different strategies but they don't really know how to do so and they want to kind of be able to test things without having to worry about risking their own money or you're starting off with a small account you're under the pdt rule and you want to have some extra trades well it's a great idea to start paper trading on the side so that once you run out of trades or once you run out of cash you can start trading as well just to kind of keep practicing and getting better this is also a more updated video because i made one of these videos a little while back and it was from using the web app platform this is now the weeble desktop platform so we're going to be going through how you can do this on desktop. Now what you want to do is on the left hand side, you're going to have a bunch of different options on the left hand side. Um, and so you want to go down to this little last piece, this little last widget, I guess, where they have the dollar sign. This is going to bring you to the paper trading section. And then from here, you can go and create your own layout. So you can start with a blank layout, or you can kind of use a pre-made layout and then go from there. Let's go with the US paper trading layout. Basically, it's a default layout and we can kind of start there and then hone things in. If you don't know how this layout or how it's all kind of dark mode, what you can do is go to the settings section down here and you can kind of toggle back and forth between the dark mode, between you know the language, between whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna use the dark mode here because I know a lot of people can see that a little bit better. I know maybe sometimes it's tough to see, but uh, for my eyes especially, it definitely helps using the dark mode. So now we have all these pieces, all these widgets as they say, and now we can kind of adjust things. So they give you this on your screen. It may be a different size. Everyone's screen may be a different size, but you can easily click on these widgets and then go in here and start to adjust the size of them. So that's what we're going to do with some of these widgets. That's the first step in order. Now, one thing that's very, very key is see this PM. It's called paper money. That's what it stands for. These PMs. I know it's a little bit small. We'll, we'll make it bigger. Don't worry. These PMs in the top right of each of these widgets, that's showing paper money. So if you're ever using, let's say, for example, you're looking at the chart or you're looking at your positions, it should show you PM or you're trying to put an order in. Um, you always want to place a simulated order so that you know it's not actually your own money if you have both accounts, if you have money in your Weeble account. And this is free to use. You guys can get this for free. You don't have to pay for the platform. You don't have to deposit any money. You can just simply sign up. There should be a link below this video in the description box and the pinned comment. You can sign up. And if you're watching this video, there's also a deposit bonus at the time I'm filming it. You can still get four free stocks when you sign up to the platform and deposit $100. That'll go into your main platform and you can even just sell those stocks and take the cash. So that aside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start zooming out here. I'm going to make this chart bigger. So let's start getting rid of some of these things so we can kind of see how this stuff works. I'm going to get rid of level two. I'm going to get rid of time and sales. We can always add these things back in. Let's get rid of a bunch of these things and let's start with the chart. So for me, what I like to do is I like to have my watch list on the left hand side. So I'll bring that down and then I'll have this kind of down this order entry. I may bring down here and then I'm going to make the chart nice and big because that's just how I like to do things. I like to have a nice large looking chart so I can see things very easily. And maybe I'll bring my order entry, you know, nice and big over there. And then now I can start adding in some widgets. So now we can have the chart right there. You can customize the chart. There's so many different ways you can customize it. And I'll talk about that here at the end. So make sure you stick around so you can hear how you can do that if you're having any questions. Um, I'm going to go to the add widget. So we have the chart. Let's pull up the quote. We want to see the quote. So for example, right now, I want to be able to pull up the quote. And I'm going to set this as a group one. I'll explain what that means in a second. And I'm going to make this quote nice and big across the top. So now it's going to show me the stock. It's going to tell me the open price, the high. It's going to give me a bunch of other information. If it's small, not a big deal. You can adjust this to however you see fit on your own platform, but that's pretty much what you get by pulling up the quote. Now you see what I did there when I clicked set as group, this little one, these little numbers. See how there's a little bit of a one right here? See, there's a one right here. In each of the widgets, there's going to be a search bar. So you can actually type in a different stock. However, in order for you to type in, let's say I wanted to look up Apple. I go to AAPL. I type that in. Now it changes on all the widgets. It's only going to change on every widget that has a one. So for example, if I change this to a two, right? And I type in Apple or I type in Tesla, T-S-L-A. Um, now it only changes the chart, but now we're still seeing the Apple quote. We're still seeing Apple down here in the order entry. 
So you have to understand that. Make sure that you see that because that is definitely a important piece to doing this. When you're on Liebel, you have to always set these as a group so that you can make sure everything changes when you change it in one place. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some level two. So I'm gonna add kind of, so it's gonna show you the bid, the ask. It's gonna show you a little bit deeper than just the top bid and ask that you'll see on most brokers. I'll look at, and I'll add time and sales. I love looking at time and sales and we can pretty much kind of go from there. So you can add whatever you wanna do. And I'm gonna share a quick video at the end that's gonna go over this more in depth. But now I'm gonna go to the paper First section of the widgets and I'm going to go to the order. We already have an order entry, but let me pull this up and show you what it's going to look like. So here's your order entry tab. You can of course put that wherever you would like. You can even add an active trade tab. So you can pretty much actively trade by saying buying hundred shares of, for example, let me set this back to these, to the first group. So I can buy hundred shares of Apple at the market, hundred shares of Apple at the bid and selling. So I would probably recommend Active trade is probably a decent way just to kind of test things out. I know I mostly use limit orders, but active trade for buying at market or buying on the bid buy or selling on the ask, it makes it super easy. You can customize how you want to do this and how you want to set your orders um, if you would like to. So for example, I can set my orders for like, I'm going to just trade with a hundred shares. No matter what stock, it's going to be a hundred shares. And then that changes all of these active settings. This way it's like a one button click and you can do this on your regular platform as well. For paper trading, I think that's fine. That's gonna be just fine and how you wanna learn how to trade. It's gonna be kind of a basic, get a basic understanding, get in, get out. You don't have to worry too much about getting filled you know, at specific price points and stuff like that. But now if I want to actually make the trade, so how do I actually go in and make a trade? I'm gonna click on add order here. So now I'm gonna add an order. It's a little bit different here on the paper trading platform than the regular trading platform. That's why I would say the active trade is probably just fine to use. So if I wanted to buy Apple right now, boom, I could do so. Now, when I want to go into the order entry, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure I have it set up. So now it's, of course, in the same group. I have Apple. That's my ticker symbol. I'm going to buy quantity of shares. I can edit that right there. And then I'm going to click on a limit order or a market order. Limit order is going to fill you at that price or better. So when you're buying, you're going to get that price or lower. And that's why you want to look to level two, see where the bid is, see where the ask is, see where the price is at. Or if you're selling, you're going to get that price or better, which means that price or higher. Market order, when you're buying, you're probably going to get filled probably closer to the ask. And when you're selling, probably closer to the bid. Time and force is going to tell you when the order is going to go through. So for example, a time and force day, this order is only going to be active today. Once the trading day ends, once the market closes, this order will be canceled if it does not get filled already. Now, one thing to note here for the extended hours, make sure that is checked. Yes, you can trade from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern on Weeble. And I believe this is now updated where that you can actually now do this with the paper trading platform as well. So I just put the order through and let's now see. Once I have done that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the orders. So now it has, it tells you the working filled or canceled. I was just filled on those Apple shares on the paper money side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this order section, this order widget, and I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to put it overlaid on the entry. So now I can have the order entry here and then I can click on this tab for orders. And so now I actually have a filled order. It's going to show me right now, Apple, we have 10 shares at 131.98 and it's showing us right there. Then what you can also do just so you can see the extended hours trading is you can go into your chart set settings on the chart feature and show extended hours. And now it's going to show me the extended hours feature here on Weeble as well. So now it shows my orders. It shows you kind of the chart setup. This is just kind of an error on the chart right there. And then I can also pull up my positions. Maybe I'm going to pull my positions up, overlay them there as well. If I would like to do that just to make it easier. So I have it all in kind of one spot. And then maybe I can put up my paper account profit and loss. So for example, maybe I want to put this in its corner or I want to overlay this as well on the bottom. So I can kind of get a brief overlook of what's going on in the paper account. So I can pretty much kind of see what's been going on um, and see everything in one place. Now, when it comes to selling your position, what you're going to want to do is go to your position section. And what I do here is of course, you can use the active trading tab. If you would like, I'm going to go on to these three dots right here next to my position. So I currently have 10 shares of Apple, which is indicated by the quantity of 10. I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side, click on this and click close position. I can also create a new order by buying more. If I wanted to do that as well, I'm going to click close position. It's going to take me to the order entry where I can now single Apple sell 10 shares, limit order, adjust my limit price if I want to do so. Time enforced and extended hours. I will place that order. It will then show up in the working orders right here once it's placed. And then once it gets filled, so for example, now it got filled, it shows up in the filled section. It may take a second to do so, but now it has, I bought those 10 shares of Apple and it gives you all the time stamps as well. And then I sold those 10 shares of Apple. So I actually lost four cents on my shares. So I lost a little bit of money on those, on that Apple paper trade right there. But now it showed up in the filled section and it's going to show me everything here. So now I have no working orders. I go to my positions. 
I have no positions, I'm good to go. Also could pull up the paper account detail, which is this widget right here in the paper account. What I can also do is I can click reset and I can change my balance if I wanted to do that. So you can change your balance. I believe they start with $10,000. It's different now, everything kind of changes, um, but that's pretty easy to change as well. So I can add that widget wherever I wanna see fit. And you pretty much have full freedom to kind of do whatever you want. And I would highly recommend you utilize the paper trading platform. If you want another video, going over more depth of kind of arranging um, this different layout, arranging these different widgets. I have a video going over how to build a customized Weeble layout. That video details everything. So definitely check that video out if you are interested. Leave any questions you have in the comments section down below. But this is actually a really great way just to kind of hone in some strategies, some practice some new things on the side before you, maybe you want to implement it with your own money. Or if you're someone with a small account, just this is a great way to kind of start learning how to trade with a larger account. It's a great way to practice. And again, it's 100% free to use. This is the desktop platform. There's a link in the pinned comment and description box down below to get signed up. You don't have to pay anything to sign up, but if you want to deposit $100, you're going to get four free stocks. I think minimum value out of those four free stocks combined is like over $20 with a max value of like $3,700. So highly recommend you take advantage of that while you can. Leave any questions in the comment section down below. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.